Hey guys, welcome to the second tutorial of my, um, what do you call it? Animation tutorial. Um, and, uh, so before I say anything, um, when I record, um, it lags the animation. So if you look at the animation bar, it's not very, doesn't really stay my mouse. So, um, I'm going to set this to 30 frames. It's so much better. Anyway, um, also my mic is really staticky, um, I'm not sure why, so I'm just going to be using my internal one, so hopefully it doesn't bother you too much, sorry about the clicking as well. So yeah, anyway, let's get started, so in this one, um, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys the, like, basic animation, um, so like, pulling the mag out, making it, like, connect to the hand, so when you move this around, it will make the magazine follow the hand and um that took me a while to figure out <laughs> and um so I'll show you guys and hopefully you know you get better and uh yeah so let's get started so first of all if you watch my previous tutorial uh we ended like this and then um yeah so continue so first of all we're gonna do the first <clears throat> basic motion of the animation, which is moving up and grabbing the mag. So we'll do that. Um, okay. Uh, I set up a camera. Yeah. Okay. So um, I think I set up a camera. Anyway, if I didn't, I'll just do it in the next tutorial. I don't know that. So anyway, we're gonna drag this up. So you should have this timeline. We're gonna get to this bit, drag it up, right click, well in the middle, split area, move your mouse over here, and you should be able to see this kind of line where my mouse is. You should want to click uh, anywhere, which is good for you. So I'm gonna click about there, and that will split our view. Then you want to click um, this here, on this side or that side or whatever. You click 3D view. Click view camera, my pan zero, and it should come out like this. So for me, I don't know why, but no, sorry, I'm a bit sick, but <laughs> yeah, okay. For me, this this when I animate, I look at this view, and it just seems smoother for some reason. I don't know why, but it just does. So you know, whatever. Okay, so the animation. Let's begin. So. Double press A and that should select all our bones. Press I and it's kind of like that. Make sure all your settings are here. And uh, yeah, so first we are going to set the end to uh, 500. We're not going to be using all these frames. It just, you know, gives us more space and stuff without annoying us. So uh, yeah. And then you want to zoom in using the scroll wheel. Let's go to about. Um, so we're gonna, what is happening to us? Hang on, I'm trying to do something real quick. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I just had another frame on this, so don't worry about that. Anyway, so what was I doing? So, okay, select the first frame and drag, click somewhere in the timeline about uh, 10 frames. It'll be kind of hard to animate for me since it's lagging, so don't worry about that. But you know, this will, this will be a basic one, and I'm going to be doing a uh, advanced animation which will look really good. Got all the smoothing and everything going. Um, so yeah, hope you guys like that. Anyway, so first we're going to click um, this uh, curve, which is rotation, and it, you should. Be able to rotate it. You, know, you can press R to rotate like that, or you can drag on the edge of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag about there, rotate around, move it up, and that will give us kind of um, pulling up view of um, you know if we if we hit a real gun, we would be moving our gun up so we can grab the mag easier instead of just. Like flat and grabbing it, so continue. We're gonna 
that should have gone with that. And then on the same frame, you want to move your arm down towards the mag. Um, yeah, okay, well, um, yeah, now you just want to position it. So I'm not sure what your grid looks like, of course, so just try and kind of get the same. Thing as me, so I'm gonna leave it about there, and then it should look like this. And um, yeah, if you want to tweak it, things like that. This is just you know for basic. So tweak it like that. So let me play it. Should be like that. Next frame about sixteen. Um. Make the whole thing rotate like that. Press G to move up. So that should look like that. And uh, that'll, that'll give it a kind of a motion of grip, like grabbing the gun so you can kind of pull it down really fast. So on the same frame, position your hand so it's actually grabbing it. <laughs> it's pretty much done for me. Okay. Uh, of course, these animations don't take. Sorry, these animations don't take five minutes to make. They take sometimes hours. So if I'm a bit slow, sorry about that. And okay. Ooh. Um. Okay, don't worry about that, it. it's just my uh, hand. Um, right, that should be good enough, so do that. Let me play it. If you look at this view. Alright, so this is actually, I'm not. I'm pretty surprised. It actually looks like um um so MSMC reloads so far. So if you look here, if you reloads, see like it, it kind of gets dropped and uh, stuff like that. So you know, kind of get the point. Goes up and um, yeah. So we've done this so far. It's taking quite a while. Anyway, so now we're going to make it so it grabs and pulls the magazine. So go to about 26, rotate it, move it across to the left, move it up a bit. Oh, no, no, don't move it up, sorry. Move it down. And, um, alright, this is the part where you have to connect the mag to the gun, so um, this took me a while to figure out of how I'm going to do this, so um, in your rig on the head, you should have a wrist bone which controls the uh, wrist like that and um, you want to extrude from the point the long point which is close to the fingers you want to press E, drag it out a bit, right click the whole thing so it's like that. Alt P should come over clear bone to, or disconnect, disconnect the bone and it should be movable with the wrist. So if you look at this one here, uh, if I move the wrist it will move along with it. And then it should be like it, this bone here, should be just like that. Then you want to um, Line it up with your magazine. I'm to do that. I'll be back. Alright, so I've lined this up pretty well. So uh, now, what do we do? So that should line up like that. And then you want to click the magazine bone. Go and onto here, 
you should see a bone with like a chain, these constraints, and uh, they help a lot with, with armatures. Right, you want to click add bone and copy transforms. Then you want to click target your armature and then the this one which is connected to the wrist. So um I called it I called it dummy. Um yeah, so and then you wanna rotate the dummy until it fits. Uh, make sure you rotate the dummy, not the mag bone, because once it's set, <coughs> sorry, once it's set, um, uh, once it's set, it won't um, ah, uh, it won't move with the, this uh, by itself unless you turn this influence off. So if you turn that all the way up, line this up. Pretty much how it was. Scale it. It's probably an easy way to do this, but um, I'm just doing it my way. Uh, I might be bigger, but oh. So anyway, um, now we click on our magazine bone. In the frame before this frame, we're going to drag it back a bit. And press, we hover, over, hover your mouse over influence, press I. Drag it down. If you uh, if you don't have this on, you have to press I again. Then you go to the next frame. And move this all the way up. Oh. Yeah, that frame. Move it up. And I press I, and now this should be attached to our hand. Oh man, that took me ages to figure out. I keep asking, but finally saw it in a um, so yeah. So, anyway, um, moving on. We're gonna move. Uh, we're gonna look at our animation so far. Oh, it is slow. Up. Okay, so we'll move that up. Move that up a bit. Um, move. And then on this frame, we're going to get out frame 30. We're gonna move our whole hand down. Make the mag come out and to make the whole gun go down. And it's about frame 40, which we're gonna make it do its own duty. Okay, move so that should be good now for, for now. <coughs> Sorry, um. Be good for now, so oh no, I'm not actually. Yeah, it should be good for now. So, this is just basic, like I said, like six times. <laughs> um, now, split. We're gonna put the mag back inside the gun, so it's gonna move our gun up a bit, rotate it quite a bit. And then make this, make our um, arm go back. So that. And uh, make it kind of fit inside. Okay. And then make it a spit is good for smooth. So you want to. And get that put. Give it like a delay. And move it in quickly. Alright, 
That is actually pretty lined up. Wow, well, that's, that's super perfect. Right, now, also, um, wait, did I see that? I think I did. Yeah, okay, here we go. So, as you can see, I'm going to the frame before this one, before it goes entirely in. So, before I press I, make sure all the bones sit there. Go to the next one, select your mag, um, mag bone. Then on this one, on the influence, press I, or, and make sure it's on one. Go to the next frame, press, uh, or drag this down, press I if you haven't got this on. And uh, should go in. And just move it up. And go in. Like that. So, um, this effect um, here. So it goes in, and then on the frame after that, it goes like snapped in place, gets all the force or whatever. And um, yeah, so then you want to give it some delay. Rotation and um, on our dope sheet here, right click the first frame, press Shift D, drag, and on our timeline or on the dope sheet, you can check, press drag it to the end somewhere where it might be, it won't be too fast, so about here, about there, yeah, and left click. Um, and 70 and put the end on your last frame then that should be pretty good yeah that's pretty good so we've got a whole movement here and over here it looks really nice on the magan so it looks good can you and um, yeah, so that pretty much sums up our kind of basic animation. Not a lot of smoothing. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully, you guys, getting better at this. It, just remember that this takes heaps of years to master. Like, I'm, I'm still mastering it. There's heaps of things to learn when it comes to animation. So if it's not even this good, don't freak out. It's not gonna, you know, be bad. It's probably good. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys almost did it twice. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, comment, rate, do whatever you do. You know, if you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to ask. Um, I reply to all my comments as fast as I can and um, yeah thank you guys for watching again and I'll upload the next tutorial which will be making really smooth you know nice animations lots of detail and uh, yeah thank you and have a good day